whole body stretching for performing artists. If at any point you are experiencing pain with these movements or with performing, please contact a qualified health professional. Upper trapezius, side stretch. These stretches can be performed seated or standing. Maintaining an erect posture and neutral spine, tilt your head toward one of your shoulders. Your gaze should be forward. You should feel a stretch at the opposite side of your neck and shoulder. The range of motion used in this stretch should be what is comfortable to you and not painful. You can increase the intensity of the stretch by placing the stretched side's arm behind your back. Hold for 30 seconds. Repeat on the other side. Hold for 30 seconds. Back stretch. Maintaining an erect posture and neutral spine, tilt your head towards one of your shoulders. Your gaze should be forward. From this position, rotate your head on your neck down to the floor. Your gaze should be towards the floor. You should feel a stretch at the back of your opposite neck shoulder. The range of motion used in this stretch should be what is comfortable to you and not painful. You can increase the intensity of the stretch by placing the stretch side's arm behind your back. Hold for 30 seconds. Switch to the other side, hold for 30 seconds. Front scalene stretch. Maintaining an erect posture and neutral spine, tilt your head towards one of your shoulders. Gaze forward. From this position, rotate your head toward the ceiling with your gaze looking up. You should feel a stretch at the opposite side of the front of your neck shoulder. The range of motion used in this stretch should be comfortable. You can increase the intensity of the stretch by placing the stretch side's arm behind your back. Hold for 30 seconds. Switch sides, hold for 30 seconds. Pec stretch. To begin, stand facing a wall or door frame. Starting at the elbow, rest your forearm and hand on the wall perpendicular to the floor. Step out with the opposite foot and rotate your body into a stride stance. You should feel a stretch in your pecs here. If you want to feel more of a stretch, rotate your torso and head tilt away from the wall. Hold for 30 seconds.
switch sides, hold for 30 seconds. You can also perform this exercise with both arms simultaneously using a corner in a room. Raise both arms and rest on the wall. Step forward with one foot, shifting your weight forward and into the wall. Adjust how much of a stretch you feel by moving in closer or further away from the corner. Be sure to keep your shoulders, neck, and head upright during this stretch. calf stretches. Stand against a wall, countertop or chair in a stride stance position with the legs hip width apart. Bend the front leg with the toes of that leg touching the wall. The back leg's knee should be fully extended straight with the heel on the ground. Toes of both feet should remain pointed straight towards the wall. Keep the back heel on the ground and shift the hips forward towards the wall to intensify the stretch in the back calf. Hold the stretch for 30 seconds. Then, maintaining the same position, slightly bend the back knee. The stretch should now be felt closer to your Achilles heel area. Keep the heel on the ground. Hold the stretch for 30 seconds. Switch legs and perform both stretches on the opposite leg for 30 seconds apiece. hamstring stretch. Using a stair, stool, or chair, place one of your legs onto it in front of you keeping your hips square. Bear most of your weight through your standing leg and straighten the raised leg to the best of your ability. You should feel a stretch in the back of your thigh on the elevated leg. Take care to keep your spine neutral and not round out the lower back to gain more flexibility. If you're in this position and do not feel a stretch, you can shift your pelvis backwards, causing it to tilt slightly. As the hamstring muscles start on your sitting bones, this shift will increase the stretch to them while protecting your spine. Hold this position for 30 seconds.
switch legs. Hold for 30 seconds. hip flexor, quad stretch on a chair. Make sure you are near a wall, countertop, or stair railing when performing this exercise. While holding onto a sturdy object such as a wall, countertop, or stair railing, lift up one of your feet and place it on a stool, chair, or step, extending from your hip so that your leg is slightly behind you and your foot on that leg is elevated and resting. Make sure to keep your trunk upright and not tilted forward. You may feel a stretch in the front of your hip on the extended leg already. If you do, hold this position and stretch for 30 seconds. If not, you can either move yourself further away from the stool, chair, or step, or you can bend your supporting leg at the knee to deepen your stretch. Either position will cause further stretch to the front of your hip and thigh. Hold your stretch position for 30 seconds. Switch legs. Hold for 30 seconds. These exercises will assist you in a whole body stretching program to prepare you to perform and assist in the recovery after your performance. In order to perform at an optimal level, your muscles and joints need to be sufficiently primed for that activity, as this will also help to decrease your risk of injury.